All right, so you want to create a waiting list kind of thing in System.io. It's very, very simple. It requires six steps. Let's go ahead and do every single one step by step. First step is creating a new funnel. Let's call it wait list. Let's select build an audience. And then these two, we just leave it as it is. You can choose your domain, you can choose your currency and hit save. Once you have these, you just need to click on waiting list. And now you have two pages. We already have them pre-selected, which is quiz page and opt-in thank you page, which is what we need. If you check here, we need an opt-in style and a thank you style. Okay, so you just go ahead and select any of these that you want. In this case, I'm just going to go for, you know, from this one, for example. So I'm going to click create hit. Now, the next thing is the thank you page. So these are already thank you pages. I'm going to go ahead and just select the first one. So you already have to create it. If you want to create in a specific funnel and you don't have these, just click add step, add a name. And the, the types are squeeze pages and opt in thank you. Okay. Now, next, let's go back and now we need to add a name, email and submit button. Let's go to squeeze page, add it. Let's make sure that we have those things. So if you have a subscribe here, it opens in a pop up. So let's go ahead and check the pop up. If you click pop ups, now you have two pop ups. I just need one. So I'm going to remove one and I'm going to see the other one. So right here, don't miss on the phone. What sounds like a wait list. Sounds good. So what we need, enter an email. We don't need a phone number. So I'm going to remove this and then I'm going to add just a name. So form input, email, enter email, sounds good. Then form input, we have an email, enter an email. So we just need to change one of these to name. Because most people are, um, most people are, you know, recognize the name email kind of sequence. We're gonna change the first one to name. So just select first name and change to first name. And then email as the second one. The third one is a button that you can do submit form and then to the next step. That's all good. Let's go ahead and hit save. Okay. So now we have those two steps. The second step, the fourth step is going to be add a tag waiting list in the automations of the opt-in funnel. So we're going to go back. Now here you can click on this button and utilize the add automation rule, add action, add tag, copy the waiting list. And then, so just create one here. Okay, we cannot create on this one. So let's go back here. We cannot create it right there. So we're gonna go to automation rules right here. Add rule, funnel steps form submitted. We're gonna go enter it, add action, add tag. And now here we can create a new waiting list tag. Okay, then we just go ahead and save rule. So now we have it here. So if you go back to the squeeze page and add it, and then you go check your, your sequence of uh, the pop-up, Select the pop-up, click on the subscribe, add automation rule, add action, add tag, and then you go for waiting list. It, it would be working right now. Okay, so you need to add the, f the tag first. So let's go ahead and do that. Automation, add tag, waiting list, all working. Next, we need an add, send email, congratulations, you are officially in the waiting list. So let's go ahead and do that. Here, whenever they opt in, we can go ahead and add an action, send email, and then we create on this plus and we are going to send an email. So subject, congratulations, preview, um, you know, check inside. And then you just add your, your, your name. So for example, you can use your first name. You can use your, you know, whatever you want to use in here in this case. So for example, um, we don't even have, we don't need anything else to be honest. So just e first name and then you say congratulations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Then what you do, you just hit save. And now you have your email right here and then you just hit save rule. So what happens is so far is whenever someone opts in, they're going to get a tag and they're going to get an email from you directly right away. You don't need any of these you know, rules and workflows. It's everything right here. Next, we need a step six add a custom uh, account down timer element redirected to a different page. So what we need is a different page. Now the different page is going to depend on what you're going to be doing next. So it can be um, you know, waiting list over, or it could be actually the, the product that you want to launch. Click here, and then it can be any of these, to be honest with you. It can be squeeze page and then you save. Now I'm going to select the exact same one just out of, you know, just because, uh, and then here, uh, wait list over. We just change the name, squeeze page, wait list. We don't need it. So what we're going to be doing now, we created this step. We just need to add a, cust uh, a countdown timer element. So let's go there, squeeze page. Edit page, 
And now here, I'm gonna add a countdown timer in on the pop-up, right here. And if I scroll down, you see countdown. So I'm gonna just add a countdown here or below the button, for example. And now here, we're gonna go for a fixed date, a delay or daily. I'm gonna go for a fixed date because it's a launch. I'm gonna do in, sometime in the future, I 31, for example. Uh, doesn't matter the time. And then action when countdown expires is redirect to a URL. So you see this space URL is where you want to send them when the waiting list is over. So save, go back, waiting list is over, clicking here to copy. Let's go back to the first one, edit page. Let's go to the pop-ups, check the pop-ups, click on the countdown, go to the URL, paste it there, and then hit save. And that's all you gotta do, okay? If you don't want to add this on a pop-up, you can do the exact same thing off the pop-up right here. You could add the exact same thing and it will be work like a charm. So just a quick reminder, first step is opt-in and thank you page. Then we have a name, email, and submit button. We need to add a tag of waiting list on the action of that opt-in funnel. We add an email and then we add a countdown timer that is going to control whether they need to add or can go into the waiting list or not already, okay, or not anymore. That's it. In six minutes, you have an entire uh, sequence where you can go ahead and do the waiting list. Enjoy. If you want to check more videos on the system.io, you have my YouTube channel. Go ahead and give it a try.